Hey guys, Case with Top Branch. Today we're going to be showing you how we fell trees close to structures, close to buildings, and not much of an escape route, and some of the things that you need to consider. As you can see, we don't have much space to work with. Um, and when you're working in the campground or with other, anywhere that, where the people hang out, a lot of times there's steel in the tree. Plus, we want to make it, we want to cut where these two trees are uh, turned into separate, uh, separate stems. Down low here, it makes, makes the hinge and makes the cutting what we have to consider much uh, much more different so we're gonna be cutting it above my head basically we get out of the zone of the steel and it's uh, nice perfect nice uh, single stem fibers that we can deal with so now um, let's go on this side basically I don't have much of an escape route I need to cut it way up here so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna cut my face gonna bore into the tree and I'm gonna leave a uh, back strap as well the, tr the tree has a little bit of a lean forward so it's not bad at all for those of you that don't know what a back strap is basically when I when I cut my face I'm gonna bore into the tree I'm gonna come backwards but I'm gonna leave a little bit of wood on the back side of it that is connected all the way across and I want it to be probably about an inch and a half uh, inch and a half thick or so about three or four inches basically almost the size of a two by four um, that way when we add uh, when we add pressure from the rope it will break that and I'm gonna also put in just in case um, if the tree wants to set back for any reason something ends up happening I'm gonna also put a wedge in there just so that way if I gotta get my saw back in there for any reason I can uh, it's a kind of a fail safe and then if I have to pound it for any reason like I got I have that tool and I want to be able to use it if I need to but I don't plan on needing to and so basically I'm just going to be setting my wedge in here. I don't have much space to, to swing a hammer. So I'm just keeping that in there just so that way the gap stays uh, big enough to get my saw in there if, any, if anything happens or goes uh, haywire. So as you can see, i got to be careful and this is just screen. So if you touch it with a saw, it makes a big hole. Uh, I climb trees for a living and I'm not a giant fan of ladders. This is the ladder that we use. Um, it folds up, super nice, compact, goes in the back of the truck all the time. I think it goes like 21 feet high. So I got plenty of plenty of reach if I need to get up and just cut a limb here and there kind of thing. Uh, but mo majority of the time, try to stay away from ladders just because you see all the videos online <laughs> and people that are on ladders, they get smashed a lot of times. And I like being hooked to the tree. Just be really careful. I'm gonna have a little bit extra on this back side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go bore in, leave probably a inch and a half, two inch hinge or so. I'm gonna take my tip, bore into that side, get that side so that way when I go all the way in, when I drive my bar in as far as I can, I'll bypass the two cuts and then I won't have extra holding wood on that back side so that way we don't break anything up top because the tree's starting to die a little bit and makes it so that way all the pressure is just on that back strap that I leave so that breaks instead of something else happening. I'm be a little precarious, be cutting over my head a little bit, but so be it. always gotta kind of consider everything as you're doing it so that way you don't have to take a step backwards to if it would kind of suck if this was a problem after I've got everything all done because I'm kind of in harm's way in this way so just go through all the steps make sure every all your all your I's are dotted and T's are crossed as you go through them so that way it all comes out perfectly every time because you think about it as you're doing it to make sure you're not forgetting anything.
I also don't recommend uh, this next step what we're going to be doing only if you're an expert and you've tried it a couple times especially not over your head because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be boring into the tree but I'm going to be doing it with the kickback side of things on my bar here. Usually when you bore into a tree you're going to use this part which is called your attack side but the problem that's going to happen when I do that is it's putting the sawdust literally right in my face but if I turn the bar, the chainsaw up this way and I bore into it then it allows for uh, all the sawdust just to be projected onto this uh, screen over here and it keeps my uh, line of sight uh, nice and clear. So I'm going to go into it, bore into it, get it where it needs to be, try and uh, I'm going to fix my face cut a little bit. It's just a hair crooked and I want them to be relatively the same plane so that way I don't have any uh, uh, I don't have any weird fiber uh, poles or anything like that when this tree is coming over. But let's fix this and then we'll pour into it. Now we're going to bore into the tree, get it all established, and uh, then be ready to run. small piece of back strap because my uh, bar was not quite big enough if I had like a 25 inch bar it would be much better um, but we don't have one of those today so I'm just gonna cut this side of it put my my wedge into it get down and uh, then the skid steer is ready to pull it over So now, let's uh, go back to the machine and watch this thing fall over. And don't stand 90 degrees to the tree because if that backside fails for any reason, then the tree comes this way. So try and stand at 45s when you go around the tree just so that way you have a less probability of something happening to you when the tree falls. a billion pieces so we had less to pick up but that's what the machine's for <laughs> well as you can see we did a great job we didn't have much for fiber pull we had actually a pretty good size hinge on this guy I wanted it a little bit bigger um, just because the tree's starting to die so we're losing a lot of structural integrity and you can see the, the healthy part of the tree had a lot of this fiber pull and this was the tree resisting bending is when you get fiber pull but you see here we have this what's called brash failure which is when there starts to be fungal uh, colonies that are starting to, to lessen the structural integrity of, the, of the, the cells in the tree that's why it just breaks off straight or <laughs> or starting to dry out or something like that but you can um, when we look at the back side of it here went in and I came out back here I cut this little piece on this back side so that way I knew my saw wasn't going to reach and you can see my saw made it to here so I was about like two inches too short and same same as back over here when I was talking about a back strap and you can see I didn't have much of a back strap I didn't need a hell of a lot of it it was mostly in the bark um, but that's what this portion that is right here and that's what was holding the tree uh, from going across and if it had back lean it would be holding the tree up so I ended up uh, leaving this portion uh, uh, uncut and then have my wedge in here just just in case if something went bad I would have uh, a second a plan B basically tree this went uh, super super perfect it's mostly because I just thought about how everything was gonna go and did uh, did what it did uh, my cuts so that way that would end up happening but super super easy we're gonna do the same thing on this tree I'm just gonna send it in the woods and uh, trim a couple branches on the other trees as well but 
that's uh, cutting cutting trees close to buildings. Um, just there's a lot more to consider because there's things of value that are around them as well. So you just gotta make sure you you think about everything beforehand. And if you if you're hesitant in any any sense, either get a second opinion or have somebody that has the skills to do it. So that way, the structure or the car or whatever doesn't take it hard. But I appreciate you guys watching, um, like and subscribe, uh, hit that bell button so that way when you, we put up another one you guys will know, uh, you'll be the first ones to know and uh, we're going to try and do some uh, reviews as well and also some giveaways so just stay tuned for more guys, take care.